Welcome back to Drive World, and today I wanted to talk about the update coming tomorrow, the Winter Rally 2023 event. As you can see, they've already started to unveil the new cars coming, which this is the Regera and this other one is the MC12. And in this event, we'll be getting limited cars, which I think it's going to be more than just these two cars. We're going to be getting accessories and new holiday themes, missions, and jobs. So if you played last Christmas, we get more exclusive Christmas stuff like last year, which I don't think the ones from last year are coming back. If I had a guess for the holiday themed missions, it's going to be like breaking presents or something. Or it could be like trailer deliveries where you deliver presents to places. And here they talk about everything that's going to be happening. Starting off with the event, it's going to last from December 15th, which is tomorrow, all the way to January 5th. And to give a brief explanation on how this works, there's personal milestones where you can donate money and if you donate enough, you'll end up getting all the rewards. And with this money, it'll go to a global donation goal, which once reaching this, it'll unlock this Modena car. And if you see on the bottom, it says the top 4,000 donators will win this car. But because they got some complaints, they actually changed it to where once the goal is reached, then the car will go into the dealership and then you can buy it from there. But I think it's going to work how you have to actually donate to be able to get this car or it's only going to stay for the winter fest time. But I think how this car is going to work is you're either going to have to donate to actually be able to get this in the dealership or you're going to have to buy it when the winter event is around because it's not going to be around after, I think. And if you see in the top, you can see this gifting tab, which you have to spend Robux and you can gift other items to other players, which I don't know if you can get these items any other way than gifting them through here. And as you can see right here, it talks about new activities like Santa's helper, where you have to deliver trailers of presents, which I hope this is like where the presents can actually fall off the trailer and the more presence you have on the trailer the more money you'll make at the end so you're gonna have to be careful driving and this would actually be super fun to do and the other thing is unique winter rally races which these will probably only stay for winter because the map's not going to be winter forever so they might remove these because it wouldn't make sense to keep after that and there's gonna be set cars in this race like the golden valley grand prix race that we had but this just is a fix to removing score Cause like if we had this set to just 600 score then everybody used a 600 score car then it would still be fair but this basically makes it to where someone that's played for 10 minutes can compete and win which i feel like would be a worse outcome than having score and there's going to be presents around the map that you can destroy for more money than just the light posts or anything destructible around the map and here in this last message they sent you can see that they changed it from the top 4,000 donators to any person can get this car after the donation goal is reached which this is definitely a good change because the top 4,000 donators would basically be afkers and cheaters and the problem with the cheaters is it's really hard to look through and see which people are cheating and 4,000 people is a lot of people to have to look through to see who actually did it legitimately or who cheated and here it explains a little bit more talking about how once the week is over the weekly milestones are reset along with the cars that you can get from that week so once this week is over we'll be given the car in the shop and then you have one week to buy the car until it switches to the next one and they also talk about putting a serial number on the car so if you buy it first you would have serial number one and then if you buy it later it'd be like a thousand whatever i don't know if i really like having serial numbers because it's basically whoever comes to the shop first and sometimes there's not times where people are actually going to be online to be able to get it so maybe instead of having a serial number it could say like one of 4,000 whatever and it says that for everybody so they know how many there are in the game but not their exact number and with that being said I think that's me to end this video let me know down in the comments what you think about this update I think it's going to be a positive for the game because this is some stuff that car games haven't seen before and I think it's really going to change how drive world performs compared to how it is right now